Minecraft just released a new snapshot again. We've got more snapshots. It's great. And this one includes a new weapon that they've been teasing for the past few days, uh, which means that PvP is probably going to be updated. So I brought along a friend. What are you What are you looking at? Hello. You were just like looking off into space. So I was like, what is that? <laughs> so we have a few new things apparently, and I think we should take out a trial chamber to find them. Uh, are you down for that? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's do it. Let's set up with another new feature first, though, uh, because we have some new armor trims. Ooh. Yeah. So we've got this one, the bolt armor trim, and the flow armor trim. Oh. Those look pretty nice. I like the colors of that one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing the new item in the inventory, but I don't want to show it to you yet. <laughs> it looks really I know. Cool. I Okay, for reference... I have I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to do the flow one. Okay, yeah, I will take the bolt. Oh, dude! Whoa! Ooh! I like this. This looks wait. good. Ooh. Okay, wait. This is this is actually looking really cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh wow, that looks really good too. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, it's like swirly. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That might be one of my new favorites, honestly. That looks really good. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, nice. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving it with the copper. I like the copper. All right, here we go. A lot of mobs about to show up. Here we go. Oh, geez, lots of zombies. Oh, jeez, oh, lots of zombies. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh no. Oh, ah, they're behind me, too. No. Oh, my gosh. I have, like, eight baby zombies around me right now. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is we need the keys, though. So we got to defeat these guys to get the keys. Why did we think this was a good idea? Why did we think this was a good idea? All I want to see is the new weapon. All I want to see is the new weapon. Oh, I got some keys. I got two keys. Oh, sick. Okay, yeah, we're going to need so those. Far. Oh, I got some keys too. All we really needed were the keys, and then we now we need to find a breeze room. That's our plan. Dude, the uh, the pots are like actually kind of huge. They gave me more keys. Like, they have really? keys in them sometimes. Yeah, and like emeralds. One of them gave me an emerald block. Like, yeah, I'm getting like lapis and crazy. iron. Yeah. Dude, that armor trim set looks so good. Thank you. Thank you. That looks you. so nice. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> cool. Okay, this is a breeze room. This is what we need. Ah, I just fell. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, we need oh, the things oh. that the breeze Breeze drops. The breeze drops new things, and that's what we're going for. Okay, Breeze, come here. Ah! Get, it. Get back here, boy. Get it. Get back here, boy. Yoink. All right, I got I got one of the items that we need. This is good. This is sand. Yep, I just had that in my inventory. <laughs> the more we can get, the better. Oh. Yay. Go. Yep, good. Did you see what it dropped? I think you picked it up. I did, yeah, but did you see what it was? It uh, was it's a little a stick. cool thing. <laughs> this is the first of the items that we need. The breeze rod, which is like the blaze rod, but a breeze rod. You oh. know? <laughs> it looks so, like, soft. Yeah. <laughs> you can craft wind charges out of them. Oh, you yeah. totally can. The second item requires the vaults, so let's, uh, let's okay. find some vaults. More breezes. Okay, more breezes. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a vault in here. This is great. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get the uh, the new item from this vault, because uh, there's another new item that we need. This will hopefully unlock the new weapon for us. Here we go. I'm going to try this out. Arrows, wind charges, that's it. All right, you try. Let's Did they see. change this a little? Yeah, yeah, they've changed, they've updated it a little bit. Okay, nothing new? No. All right, I next vault, so. here we go. <laughs> here we go. Dang, this is Come rare. On. All right. Well, <laughs> I can. We need a we need a believe. montage of us just opening every single Dude, one. Dude, I'm gonna just I'm gonna play every single time we right clicked with a trial key, and it's just gonna it, that's gonna be the whole montage, and that's that's how long it took. All right, we tried so we tried our best. We really yep. tried. This is the new item that is called the heavy core. Check what that does out. It do so uh, nothing necessarily yet. Uh, can but I break we'll, it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Why does it take so long to break? Oh, I don't know, actually. Wait. I mean, I don't think I've... I don't have efficiency or anything on it. Right. So. Watch it not drop. I know. That's what I'm scared of. <laughs> it really takes a long time. Oh, good. Hey, it does drop. there we go. <laughs> I wonder how that is compared to obsidian. Three, two, one, go. I think I was a little before you, but it's okay. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> This is with efficiency. <laughs> this right. thing is dense. 
I did not expect the obsidian to break that fast, actually. Um. Me neither. So note to self, don't place this down. <laughs> no kidding. I assume that means there's a new recipe for this. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Oh, wow, that's actually cheaper than I thought it would be. All right, so do you have any breeze rods? Uh, Yes, if okay. you want to just give me a second. <laughs> okay, so all you have to do is put the heavy core above a breeze rod in your crafting table, and you'll get the new weapon. Ooh. Mace. The mace, which I'm actually so excited about. So oh, it's heavy. What the patch note says, yeah, it's a new heavy weapon to smash your enemies. Leverage the weight of this new weapon to deal additional damage the farther you fall before hitting your target. So try it out by jumping down towards your target, then hit them before you hit the ground. Let's get a baseline real quick. Come over here. Yep, we'll go for it. Good. That was three and a half hearts. Critical hit. That was four and a half hearts. Okay, cool. And then if I jump down from up here... Oh, wait, you're gonna have to. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't at full health, but. Okay, yeah, yeah. How many hearts <laughs> did you have? I had over half. Oh, wow. Okay, ready? Let's now I'm at full health. Do it. Yeah, do it. Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was all of it. That's so cool. Okay, wait. If I come back up here, go ahead and put on your armor again. And then if I go up here and I fall from like all the way up here, let's see what happens. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Wait, okay, now let me now let me eat this apple now. Yeah. Now do it. Oh my gosh. Boom. Oh, oh, that was all of the gold hearts. So if I'm holding these charges and I do this, and then you can you can combo it, and that's that's sick. Yeah. <laughs> but with with resistance and full netherite armor, wow. that that brought me down to half a heart. I can't believe that from all the way up here. It, it just completely obliterates. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that was, oh my gosh. That was <laughs> all of the gold hearts and then five and a half red hearts. Wow. With resistance and another red armor. That's crazy. That's so much damage. Okay, so there's another there's another functionality with this. Oh, a successfully striking a target in this way will negate any damage accumulated from the fall, similar to how a wind charge works. So me falling and hitting you didn't give me any d fall damage or anything. Um, it just dealt it to you, I think. And then the other things, yeah, other entities near the struck enemy will be knocked back by the immense force of the mace. So in theory, watch this. If I hit yeah, one wait, of wait them, for them, to wait for them to kind gather. of accumulate here. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. Boo! I missed! Okay, wait. I'm just going to jump for these guys. Oh! Whoa! That's cool! Okay, so wait. If back. I go up... Oh my gosh! That's actually Whoa. so cool! Whoa! That's so fun. This is like legitimately such a neat feature. This new weapon, this is genuinely so sick. That's so neat. That's that such combo. a cool effect. So I have 100 health now, um, which is five rows of hearts. And I still have my armor too. So I'm I'm here with armor and all of this. Let's see what happens. I'm so Whee! curious. Oh. 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 <laughs> That was all of the health. Here's 200. Now I have 10 rows of hearts. I have 10 rows. Oh, wow. Okay, that was that was seven rows. Oh my gosh, it totally did. It, that was seven rows of hearts. Jeez. <laughs> That's oh my God. insane. Come at me. Whoopa. Boing. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Uh, I'm going to get you. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> this is so cool. Such is the state of 1.21. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I ran out of wind charges and I have no armor. <laughs> there we go. So I wrapped up recording with my brother, but I kept experimenting a little bit and I found a couple new things that I'm also interested by. I post a lot of this on my Twitter. So if you want to follow me, it's at it's Narfi on Twitter. But uh, there's a couple weird things with these items. Some of them might be intentional. Some of them might be bugs. But uh, starting with the heavy core here, you can't place it on a wall, which I kind of half expected it to work like player heads. But since you can't, you know, like turn them sideways like player heads, I don't think they're meant to 
be used that way. And as kind of a nice like wall decoration, I definitely don't mind this. This is very cool. Like that's a that's a neat combo. But I would also like to use this as a trophy, you know? Like these are hard to get, especially with how difficult the uh, rates were in the trial chamber to actually have one of these drop. I'd love to have a couple on my wall as like a sign of I did this. But no, they don't act like that yet. But maybe they will in the future. Not sure. Figured I'd also try an item frame. I think this is pretty much the same as with a player head. Yep, they're the same. Cool. This was also interesting with the player heads just because they're very comparable. They're the same size. I figured that I might try this as well, but uh, you can't actually slot this on here without commands. Like you can see, you can put the player head on here, no problem, but you can't put the uh, heavy core on there. So I had to use commands to put this on here, but you can see it just doesn't have quite the same model. So that's an interesting feature. Um, but you know what? That's all right. I think most of people are going to be using this for the mace anyways, so I don't think it's that much of a problem. Wow, I hate everything about this with all of my being. Why are they different? I don't understand. Gotta say too, I am loving the Guster and Flow banner patterns. I think these are looking really nice. Gonna be interesting what people can do with these as uh, extra banner patterns for them to use in designs. I like it, very cool. Also, just the breeze on a banner pattern, very cool. I think it's just a fun, fun little extra side thing. So many great details. And I also do love that these match these. Like this could be nice for, uh, you know, I don't know, integrating some sort of design philosophy into what your style is. Like maybe you use the Flow symbol as like, your symbol so you can use that with the uh the pots as well as the banners and even the armor trims that's kind of a neat little tie-in i'd also like to mention that the warden takes a ton of damage from your mace so i take a ton of damage from him though so you know there's there's that and this is the second time here we go boom yeah, it's a pretty good way to do that. <laughs> Credit to 4CVIT for showing that on Twitter first, and I saw it, and I was like, I'm going to include that, because that's cool. So this is a really cool snapshot. I'm a fan. Hi, it's currently 9.50 p.m., but I had something else I wanted to show you. I was messing with this for the thumbnail, and uh, I figured I'd uh, show you, because it's kind of crazy. But also, it's late, so I'm trying to be quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze the game, and if I go ahead and spawn in a few zombies here, go from up here, smack this middle guy, then they all launch all to the sides. Nice. Here's where things get fun. If I spawn a ton of zombies on like pretty much every block. Now we have a lot of places to smack with the mace. And then I do this. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And now if we just go ahead and run. Tick unfreeze. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show you. It's really late. I'm going to finish this video so you can see it in the morning. Yeah. Final blow. Oh, no. Hoppa! Subscribe.